Welcome to Fiery Smart Support. My name is Emery, your virtual assistant for Fiery Specialty Applications. In today's video I would like to show you how to print using the Windows Spooler method. So let's get started. Most printers will use the default ports in Digital Factory and will seamlessly print directly to the printer using TCP IP or USB. In some cases, the default ports in Digital Factory will not allow you to print directly to the printer or you may have errors sending the data to the printer. Conflicts between Windows drivers and the RIP are one of the most common issues that occur because they are both trying to communicate with the printer at the same time. For those cases, we need to enable the option to print using the Windows Spooler method. First, you'll need to check the port assigned to your printer. To find the name of the port, use the search bar in Windows to search for printers and scanners. Select your printer, click Manage, and click on Printer Properties. Click on the Ports tab. Make a note of the port name of your printer. The port may be named USB001 if it's connected with a USB cable. Note, the USB port may be named with a different number. If connected on the network, the port may be an IP address or other manufacturer port name. By default, the Windows port option is disabled in Digital Factory. To enable, go to Tools menu, Options, and then put a check mark on the box beside, Allow selection of Windows ports. Save and close. Now you can click on the Q menu, Manage Queues. In the port column, all of the Windows ports will be available to be selected. Before you send any print jobs using the Windows spooler, ensure you have installed at least one of the queues in Control Panel. If you already have a queue set up with a Control Panel driver you are done. If not, then click on the Install button on any of the queues in the Control Panel column. If it has been installed correctly, the button will now say Remove. The USB ports for printers appear as USB001, USB002, and so on. TCP IP ports will appear as the IP address of the device, but sometimes they appear as device name. Now all jobs will be sent using the Windows spooler. To see what's printing from the Windows spooler, click on the Show Hidden Icons in the Windows taskbar to display the icon for each printer queue with jobs pending. If you double-click on the icon, it will display a list of jobs pending for the device and all communications with your device is then handled by Windows. This should resolve any communications issues and avoid conflicts between Windows drivers and the queue. Thank you for watching.